Hey guys, welcome to Hidden Springs Homestead. Today I am fixing tripod. This is one of my most, this is probably the most versatile of them all, is it can latch onto the tractor. And uh, oh, my heart sank. A good friend of mine gave me this and uh, it just broke right off. So we're going to see if we can, one, drill this little bolt out. It's a teeny tiny one. There ain't nothing on to grab onto with a set of pliers. So I've got this little tool to help back out stripped bolts. And uh, we're going to take our teeny tiny little drill bit. Focus, focus. Oh, well, it's a tiny little drill bit. Normally I would want to do this in a vise, but um, if I put this on a vise, I'm afraid I'm going to tighten it too much and crack it and break even more. So we're going to go real, real slow. So discretion advised. Real slow. Because I don't want to put a drill bit through my hand. I'm almost wondering if this drill or this uh, bolt is plastic. Can you see that? Can you guys see that? Look at that. I think it's plastic. No wonder the thing broke. It's a plastic bolt. Swap out my bits. I don't know what this thing's called. It's the takey outy bit. It's a reverse thread. Gotta make sure I'm going the right direction. did not work. Hmm. We'll try it again. I have a slightly larger one. Always helps when you do it in the right direction. I might have to go a different route with this. I might be able to just put a screw because I've worn that thing out pretty good. So this oh crap a little knife. Had it for years. I can get this foamy bit off. Hopefully there's a screw under head underneath of it. Because I really don't need the foam. The foam's just there to, you know, protect and hold a little bit better. Hmm. There is a screw. But that thing's just not lining up with uh, Dang it, that was a... I thought I heard 
Bears. Why don't I just try that the first time? Okay. So I need to find a screw. That'll fit in this hole. See if we can measure these bad boys up. And just do it. And just pour out the whole thing. Since it's plastic and all. Man, I'm Butterfingers today. out the threads on the inside so I'm thinking this one should be good enough if it ain't big enough I'll just throw a wood screw all the way through it and call it a day sorry I'd lose my head if it wasn't attached Direction, Andrew. everything back now because I'm never gonna find all these pieces if I don't put them away now all right trash, trash, trash. And find a bolt and if nothing else as long as it threads the right way I can always cut the head off and thread one side through here and the other side through here so up after myself and then I guess we'll go up to the workshop and uh, see if we can find our uh, pieces hey guys welcome back so I couldn't find a screw that fit perfectly into those threads that, oh there we go focus there we go so what I'm going to try and do is with this head we're just going to screw it and it won't fit the threads, but because I, I, I went ahead and I screwed all the way through, so it's going to go all the way through this, and it should fit. All right. And this hole that I drilled out there. And if it's not perfect, it's not perfect. Um, Feels like it's engaging the uh, screws here, or the threads, or threading the plastic, because I didn't really thread it. I don't want to over tighten it, but uh, well, 
I think it might work. I think I uh, screwed too far because the head is just not really bending. Eh, maybe it is. It's just not bending the way I thought it should, but maybe it is. And uh, hopefully we can use this in some more videos. Because these things are really, really convenient. The tripod I have on now uh, it doesn't really latch onto things like the tractor when I'm moving around. So having these adjustable legs so so nice so that's fixing a tripod but yeah a friend of mine gave this to me so I could uh, start up our little YouTube channel here um, and man when that thing broke my heart sank because <laughs> he had given it to me so uh, thanks for joining us on redneck fixing or mountain guy fixing tripod as always guys god bless you